Dick Griffin on the trombonist and fine artist. The series I'm going to do will be story behind the paintings. Actually, it will give you the insights of how the painting developed, how it, I started, how the idea came to me, how I saw the vision, and I will show you how the structure of the painting started from the back of the painting, when the, the canvas was stretched and the framing and the whole bit. I will tell you the inside of the painting, how the ideas kind of started and then how they came to a finished product. Okay, the story behind this painting um, is, is uh, very interesting because I met this artist named Mark Kostabi and I collaborated on two paintings with him. He actually painted on, I have two co collaborations with him. But uh, I met him at this art gallery and, and I said, I'm a painter and I gave him my cards and he said, well, I'd like to see, to see some of your work. So he came by and he saw my work and he said, listen, I like your work. You can come to my studio and use all my supplies and study with my artists and, and uh, you know, for no charge at all. I like your work and, and that's what I did for two years. And as a result, this is one of the few oil paintings that I've done. And uh, this one is called Cannonball because at that time I was painting and naming my paintings as, as uh, famous jazz artists and I, I had paintings that are called Monk and I got paintings that are called Cannonball and I got a, a Cold Train painting over there and uh, the, the music and the art just cannot be separated. But uh, when at, at, at a lot of my paintings I was using this red, this spear, this, this thing, this symbol here, but in that particular studio I was I was really dealing with some very very fine artists and they taught me a lot. The story behind the CD is this was my second CD and was put out on a, on a record label named Trident Record. The artist who owned that record label was, was named Kino Dukes. Kino Dukes, but he's deceased now and uh, I put it out on Trident and then I leased it also to a record in uh, company in Germany called Conix Records. And now it's back to my record label, which is Ruby Records. So that is the story behind that painting. It has been on at least three record labels and it's one of the few paintings that I've actually used oil and I actually used images. And I'm, I'm kind of proud of the way that I was able to get the eyes to look more natural and with the the, the roundness and the shadows and, and the light. Uh, this is one of my paintings that I, I am proud of. And it's also far, far away from my abstract expressionistic paintings that I've shown you earlier. So it's uh, another side of my work and another style of my work. And I have several different styles. So this is it. And um, it's called Cannonball and it's on Now is the Time CD, which is the second CD I have.